is a special report. Indeed, severe weather. Blizzard Brianna is here. You can see some heavier bands of snow now moving through the Green Bay area all the way into Appleton and Manitowoc. Another heavy band of snow that moved through uh, Fond du Lac and moving in as well. Let's uh, look at a few views from our cameras because we do have one in uh, Green Bay from our Lambeau cam over the last couple of hours. It was about 1 o'clock. Shortly after 1 o'clock, the first flakes flew in Green Bay, and it, it'll be 3 inches of snow on the ground by daybreak. In Sturgeon Bay, the snow has just started 30 degrees there, and you can see a little bit of snow on the lens. Now, in Appleton, we get to Appleton, you're not going to see much, as you can see. Some heavier snow moving through there, 30 degrees. In Oshkosh, the streets are slippery. The snow started a bit earlier there than in the Green Bay area, and you can see what's happened over the last hour or so. Uh, be aware that no matter where you go, no matter where you go in the region or in the state, you're going to run in some very uh, slippery driving conditions. In Shawano, it started snowing at about 2 o'clock or so, and you can see that the snow is piling up already. So these bands of heavy snow moving up from the south to the north, and they will continue. We do have a picture from Nina, thanks to Jeff. He sent this to me via my Facebook page. Um, so here is Blizzard Brianna this morning, just about oh, within the last half hour in Nina. We want your pictures. Please use our report it feature. It's a great feature. You can do it on your mobile phone, uh, your, your cell phone. Uh, you can do it uh, on our, the website as well. Also follow us on Twitter. And if you hashtag it, hashtag it Blizz Brianna. And of course, follow on Facebook as well. And as our website, we're going to update that throughout the morning hours, throughout the entire length of this storm. And it's going to be a 24 hour period. Started at 1 o'clock this morning in Green Bay. It's going to end shortly after midnight tonight. So this is a, a storm that's going to last a while. And the, it, the winds are part of the story, too. The winds will be sustained at 35 miles an hour. And we could have wind gusts this afternoon of 40 and 50 miles an hour. So the reds that you see here, reds, pinks, from Green Bay all the way down through Atagami County, Washera County, and farther to the southwest, that's a blizzard warning. Now, the areas that you see in blue, the, the winter storm warning. And still, much of the area will get 10 to 14 inches of snow uh, by, the, all is, uh, by the time all is said and done. You can see the snow bands that we set up from Marinette through Wapaka and Watoma into sh almost the Sheboygan area, 10 to 14 inches. There is, there have been uh, indications over the last couple of days, really, the last 24 hours anyway with the computer models, that there's this, this uh, area from Oshkosh to Fond du Lac, including parts of Fond du Lac and Manitowoc County, where you folks could even get 14 inches plus of snow by the time uh, tomorrow morning rolls around. Center of this system, the center of Blizzard Brianna, here's Kansas City, here's St. Louis, it is right here. So the warm side of this system will have some thunderstorms along that. And we could, we still could hear some thunder with this snow. If we do hear it, it'll be in the morning hours, probably between 8 and 11 o'clock or so. And that always, uh, people love that. If you're out and about and you're sledding or something and you hear the thunder, that means that uh, you're going to have some very heavy snow, maybe two to three inches of snow in an hour. That's the rate that you'll have there for a time. So that is still a possibility today. And you can see that everything's setting up from Des Moines, from Lincoln, Nebraska to Des Moines, Iowa, all the way into northeast Wisconsin. We're getting these heavy bands of snow. Let's get a closer view here. And you can see the whites on this map, just very, very heavy snow, snow tracker. And uh, we'll get a closer view on this too, because you can see here's Neopit and Anigo just now getting into some heavier bands of snow. Look at Wittenberg, Mosney, in the central portion of the state, very heavy snow there. So if you're traveling to that area, Area or, you know, a lot of, a lot of kids going to college but could be traveling today. If they can delay it one day, it might be a good, good idea. Green Bay, Suamico, Denmark, Kiwani all getting into some heavier snow. And then we go to the south. The Fond du Lac has, some, has had off and on heavy snow throughout the morning hours and continue to get that snow. So 10 to 14 inches in basically the entire area that you see here, uh, all the way up to Marinette. And the heaviest snow Actually, not now to 6 o'clock, but from 6 o'clock to noon. And then beyond that, we will continue to get the snow up to about oh, uh, a foot of snow uh, by tomorrow. And the wind gusts will be strong this morning, stronger still this afternoon. Could get 40 to 50 mile an hour wind gusts late this afternoon. Again, a look at the snowfall totals. Much of the state will get that 10 to 14 inch uh, snowfall total. Milwaukee, they have some more rain mixed in, so it won't be quite as much. About three inches on the ground by daybreak. It's a heavy, wet packing snow. Good for snowmen, not good for shoveling. And travel gets worse throughout the day. If you're out in, Ann, was, how was the ride in today? Not bad. Not, not bad so far? Really? All right. Well, you can, you can bet it's going to get worse <laughs> throughout the day. <laughs> it's not the greatest right now. You can see the visibility is on our Lambo cam already down. So if you're going to hashtag this, hashtag it Blizz Brianna. 
Going to be 33 for the high today, 29 tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, snow will be on the ground and we'll have winds, so it'll be blowing around. It could impact travel even up to tomorrow morning. Then Saturday, 25 and fair weather on Sunday. Uh, we're keeping you updated on Blizzard Brianna throughout the morning hours. Obviously, good day. Wisconsin is coming up in 20 minutes. We'll be here for that. I anticipate one more cut in right around uh, 440 or so. Uh, live uh, cut in right here, and we'll keep you updated. Don't forget to use our reported feature. Feed us your information, where you are, what it looks like, and of course, uh, upload those uh, photos and, and, and videos too. You're watching Good Day, or you're not watching Good Day, Wisconsin. You're going to be watching Market Watch in just a moment. We'll get back to that right now. Fox 11, your station for severe weather coverage. This has been a special report from the Fox 11 Severe Weather Center.